we are, a few weeks after Nationals, and the project is finally over. Like, over, over this time, and not, I have to tear it all apart again and rebuild it. Unfortunately, we didn't place top 12 because I didn't tear it apart and rebuild it enough. I had a bunch of technical issues at Nationals, a bunch of stuff didn't work, our interview wasn't great. Worked better than I expected it to, but I was up until 2 o'clock in the morning working on it in my hotel room with Aaron. And, um, when you're up until 2 o'clock in the morning and you have an interview at 6 o'clock that evening that ends up being at 7.30 because everything was running excruciatingly slow, you aren't exactly fit to talk to other human beings in a mood as that. That didn't go very well in of itself, and the project just didn't work out. But a few weeks after, we're here, we're back, I got everything working to shoot this video of it. Um, most things are working, the few things that aren't working, you won't probably notice in the video that you're about to see, but I will have a video coming out shortly, just a technical overview of everything for anybody that's actually curious about the nerd stuff. And then in that video, I'll talk about the issues that are still persistent with the project that I'm not planning on fixing ever. The project's probably going to get disassembled sometime soon. I am planning on doing this event next year, definitely, and I have a much better outlook, much better skill set, and much better prepared to do this next year. So I'm excited for that, and enjoy the project. Taking a break, Matthew? Please don't tell management, Jeremy. I left the net with the crew for just a second. Now who was it that just six months ago called this job a bore? There is no way you of all birds are getting exhausted by some fledglings. I get it, I get it. Next year I'll give a full stuff with this job the respect he deserves. This teaching the young to fly might be one of the most important seasons of the year, but it's definitely a torment on the instructors every year. Don't forget the parents. I can only remember how small birds are at home after the first day. Maybe the Eastern Nations had something to do with that whole karma bit. Well, for now, don't let them kill you. Trust me, my job is far more full of trying to keep the kids from crashing to the ground. The birds freak out in midair, and then where are we? Fledglings do overcomplicate things. Once they control that muscle in their breasts, it all comes together, if they let it. I think it's the pressure that gets to them, literally. Really? Up or down? Oh, it's not a feeling you can really anticipate when you want to push up already. After all those years of getting pulled off, it's the low pressure doing the same thing that gets to them. Whatever, I guess I was always too preoccupied with the fact that my wings get pulled apart every time they get to the top of my body. I don't recall my first experience that much. It's all become so natural. The feathers split as I glide, contract and push back at the bottom. That resistance dropped me to rebuilding faster than an eye. You know, sometimes flying is free. Others, it's just a real pitch. What in the... Great. That looks like Michael. One of my more energetic people, to say the least. Hey, Michael. You okay? I can't really see you through that bush there. Yeah, sure. If it's cool, though. I think I might just stay in this bush a while. Something tells me my folders don't fold in, or at least they are supposed to. Great. Nothing much we can do until one of those tall monkey guards shows up later. Should have told him that to keep a better eye on that kid. Yeah, he needs some maintenance. Birds don't need to store paper. What? Oh no, I was explaining earlier how the middle feathers fold up so that the wings have an angle to thrust on the high positions. The fledglings were getting really worried that they might fall since their wings couldn't always be pushing down. <sighs> okay then. Hey Smalls! Next time, you might want to make an arc with your wings as you flap. The pull in and then out creates the last resistance drop that you can't fly without. Thought I was. Well, I guess I'll be trying that again tomorrow, or, well, not exactly that, I guess. Well, for starters, let's get you out of that bush so that the monkey guards can actually see you. Uh, then I guess I need to get the rest of my clash under a bush. They won't fall on this weather. Yeah, that thunder was your cue to go be the responsible one. That wasn't giving himself a break. Make sure they know that the wind goes through those flappers, not rain. See you tomorrow, Jeremy. Michael, roll it however the wings aren't bent to the ground. Later. Arr. So that was it. That was the project. That is its final form. And that's probably the last year you're going to see of this one. Again, we'll be doing this next year. We'll be posting videos, probably actually more consistently, more of a progression of the work you'll see. 
And also, I'm going to be having videos of my VEC season this year, the t Turning Point season. That's exciting. I'm going to be having a bigger team this year. I'll be posting videos mostly over my robot, not worry about anybody else in my school. They can do what they feel like. And have my technical video over the project out sometime this week, probably. And until then, bye.